Alright, this is Dr. Charles. We're here at High Tech Chiropractic and I decided today I want to do a short video on forward head posture, Tex neck as we're calling it now because I'm seeing it so common in the, in the younger kids. And uh, why this isn't talked about more. This is like a PSA, a public service announcement of how important um, it should be to have proper posture in your spine, to have your ear over your shoulder like this and not like this. Um, I'm just seeing it more and more in young kids, so I want to show you guys what it looks like on x-ray and show you guys some pictures. So I'll take this. And that's why I have pictures like this throughout the office showing the further forward your head goes leads to all kinds of health problems. So I'm going to show you guys some x-rays here. I'm not going to say the names of the patients or anything like that. But this first x-ray, this is a, uh, took this x-ray today. This is of a girl who was born in 1977, not very old, uh, not even 40 years old. See that yellow line right there? Each one of these vertebrae should touch that yellow line. Each one of these vertebrae should touch that yellow line. That's the proper cervical curve. So I'll go through this quickly here to keep it short. Uh, this guy was born, why was he born? 1974. Look at that neck. Horrible. This lady, she's born in 19... Uh, 82, that's when she started coming. Her neck, you can see that reverse portion right there. I took this x-ray today uh, as a follow-up and we're getting that neck a lot closer to the line as you can see there. So I went from that with actually a little reverse bubble kink right there to this right here. So that's a good, that's a good change. We still want each one of those vertebrae to touch the line. Uh, what do we have here? This is a kid who was born in 1996. 96, guys. We're talking he's not even 20 years old. Look at that neck. That's awful. Look at how far away from the line it is. Here, what do we got here? She, uh, she's born in 1996, too. It's another young patient of mine. It's just kids here, teenagers, high schoolers. Look at that neck. No wonder why she's hurting. Here's uh, somebody who was born in 1990. So what are we talking? 2000 for, you know, uh, 24 years old. Look at that. You think that's not going to lead to arthritis and degeneration and problems down the road? Uh, here's a guy born in 55. Look at that neck. W reversed. That's just, it's atrocious. Here's another one. There's another one. Here's another one. This, uh... This is a little girl born in 1992. There's another one. This kid was born in 1997. I'm not talking old, old patients here we'd expect with, with bad spines. Look at this. Another one. There's another one off the line. Nobody's on. This is the, the only guy who's on the line. Look at this. My The oldest one I've got here. This guy's born in 52. Um... Guess what? He doesn't have a cell phone that he's constantly checking. Doesn't have his head down all day nonstop. And here's here's where you're headed uh, if you don't get that head up. Metal screws in your spine. Here's one more. Born in '93. Look at that reversal right there. And then that's what uh, a lifetime of poor posture will do to your spine. So in the, and then here's another young girl. She's born in 84. Um, in an effort to keep this short, I'm going to just click through these last couple ones here. Another young girl born in 1980. We're talking young patients here, guys. 1983, this girl was born. This guy was born in 86. Let's keep going through these here. Look at that one way off the line um, so what do we do to fix it this is uh, this is a good friend of mine this is his neck right here uh, if you can see that it says no weight so this is just a neutral x-ray taken and then this one here uh, he's got a five pound head weight actually you can see part of it right there at the top portion of the x-ray so he's got a weight on the front of his head to actually improve the posture of the neck to retrain those muscular groups, stretch the ligaments, allow that curve curve to come back in the spine. You can see it actually causes him these, see that distance there versus there, way closer to the line here. So this is one of the training things we do here to try and 
improve that cervical curve. But um, let me pull up. Let me pull this up. I'll sh go down so I'm not showing patients' names here. HIPAA, blah, blah, blah. This is um, there's yours truly, Dr. Charles Kuniko. I forgot to take my freaking necklace off before I took the x-ray. Um, so, guys, this is totally possible to have a good curve in your neck. Remember, brain sits right here. Spinal cord comes right through here, feeding the entire lifeline for your body. Every time that neck goes forward like this, you're putting strain on the, these structures. Is not good, y'all. It's not good. Text neck. Bad. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't be this girl. Oh my gosh. Please don't do that. Don't be this this guy. He's so cool with his pit stains. Please don't do this. Don't do this. Don't be these savvy business professionals who are all going to need my care if they don't get there. Look at this guy. Good Lord. Get your head up. Stop it. Knock it off. Kids, go outside. Same picture. Yeah, we're de-evolving. De-evolving. You guys are so cool sitting there on the beach. See? No. See. Okay, that's the end. Get your phones up. I'm tired of seeing all these young people with just horrible spines. If you want to know more, give us a call. 361-1112. Happy Friday. Peace.